Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made these three slides using masks in PowerPoint. So the first thing is to define what is a mask and it is basically using two shapes to create a new one that will help us reveal a part of an image or a video or some text. And I'll get into details in a minute but this is essentially just to showcase how you can put something behind it so you can see right through it. So for the first slide, we're gonna create a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of our slide. And then we're gonna insert a circle and we're gonna place it on the left area of the slide. So to create a mask, you just have to select both shapes, go to merge shapes and click on combine. And then you can just get rid of the line and change the color. And for example, if I format the background, you will see that we are actually modifying the background of the slide, not the, the, the color of the shape. So then I'm just gonna insert some text. So in this case, it will be a title. And because this presentation is gonna be about the Great Barrier Reef, I just called it a look at the Great Barrier Reef and I use the font Congenial Ultralight. So then I'm just gonna insert a video and I'm gonna right click and send to back. I downloaded this video from Pexels and if you need to reposition your focus area you can do that with the crop button and you just have to drag the video until you find the area that you want to show. To give more dimension I just added a PNG of a submarine window I found this online, um, they're very easy to find just on Google Images. Now for the video to start automatically, you just have to click on animations, go to animation pane and you'll see two elements here. Just get rid of the pause button and the other one just right click start with previous and that will make the video to play automatically. If you click on the PNG and right click format picture and you go to the image panel, you can even change the color, increase the, the brightness, the contrast. So for example, here you can even put it like grayscale and then maybe like increase the contrast and that will give you a completely different look. And that's how you get this super engaging cover slide. Okay, so for our second slide, we're gonna insert a text and we're gonna make it as big as we can. Here I'm using the font Japanese 3017 and from the shape format panel uh, from the align section I'm just making sure that everything's aligned and then I'm gonna insert a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of the slide and then we're gonna right click send to back. Now select the text and your shape, go to merge shapes, click on combine and just like that you have a mask. So now if you insert an image and you right click and send to back, um, it will be behind the mask that you created. To give a little bit more dimension, you can add maybe um, some more text or other shapes or something like that. And then you can click on the picture that you just inserted, go to animations and click on grow and shrink and you'll get this very cool effect. So now if you go to the animation pane, um, right click start with previous, go to effect, smooth the end, and here you can change the percentage here to make the effect a little bit more subtle. But that's essentially how you do this effect. Now before we continue, please make sure you're subscribed if you want to get PowerPoint tutorials and tips, and don't forget to like this video. Now for the third slide, we're gonna start as we did with the other ones. So we're gonna insert a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of the slide. And then we're gonna insert another rectangle and this one's gonna be placed in the middle of the slide. So just go to align and align to center. And then again, select both of those shapes, go to merge shapes and click on combine. And then I just changed the color to black and now it's time to add some text. So I'm gonna start with my first date, then uh, on the same text box, I'm gonna add the second one under that and then the third one under that. 
Now let's change the color of the background. So right click format background and I change it to black and then click on the shape that you did. Go to line and click no line. Now you can select the text box and right click send to back. And then I'll add my first description. And because this presentation is about the NASA missions, so I'll just put the first mission, which was Apollo 1. Now we're going to duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and we're going to drag our dates up. So now it's showing the second date and I'm just going to change the number of the, of the mission. For the third one is the exact same process. You duplicate that slide, drag it a little bit up and change the number of your mission and then select all of them, go to transitions and click on morph. And you'll have something like this, which is not bad, but if you want to make it a little bit more dynamic, then we might need to play a little bit more with the morph transitions. And now this video is not about the morph transition, but I already have one in my channel. So if you want to check out how this transition work, um, go check it out. And to add the starry background, just copy an image of a galaxy, leave it on your clipboard, select the mask and from the field options, select picture or texture fill. Using the crop menu, you can um, reposition the, the, the stars. And just remember that you'll have to paste it again on the, on the background behind the text. But that's essentially how you get the, the galaxy background. And this is the final result, which is super engaging and super fun. Now, guys, remember, if you go to lurutiappt.com, you can download some templates with placeholders, animations, instructions. So make sure you check those. And thank you so much for watching, for your support. And please don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video.